tutorial will show you how to get Android photospheres on your phone. There are 360 degree panoramas up, down, all around, like you're actually in that place. So you can get the link from my profile or from um, the link in the description. So click the link, open whatever browser you have, go to it, you'll be taken to the Android Authority website. Make sure you scroll all the way down. Until you see direct link to download one. You're gonna click that. You'll have details over here. All of that. Don't worry about that. But under where it says no preview available, the download button. You press that button. I'm not gonna press it since I already installed it. Okay, um, when that's done downloading, open up the downloads app on your phone. And here, you need to hit other downloads. Some of you may not have this option, but you should have a file with a bunch of random letters and numbers, symbols, and .apk at the end. You're going to click on that file. And it'll say package installer, verify and install. You can do whichever you want, but if I were you, I'd hit just once. So here, it'll tell you it's replacing an application. It'll either replace it so you only have one camera in one gallery, or like it did on my phone, you'll have two gallery apps and two camera apps. And this will take a while, but like I said, since I already um, installed it on my device, I'll cancel it. Okay, from once you find out what happened to your device, whether it replaced it, add it to, once you go into your gallery, you're going to need to press the camera button up here. And this is your new gallery, so yeah. Get Click on it. It'll probably say camera or gallery if it didn't replace it. But um, I'll hit gallery and again you can do whichever you want. But I'm pressing just once. So here's the camera. Okay, so this is your new gallery, and you can see it has a plain look, and um, this one is to take pictures, and it flashes off. So where are your settings? Tap on your screen and you will have this exposure. More options, flash mode, which I'll turn off and you slide your finger to select them. And front camera. You slide your finger over these and hold it there to select it. And on some like these here, just let them go and select options. But to go to what this video is about, Hit the camera icon on under your capture button and hit the icon right here that looks like a photosphere. So it'll tell you to align the start. You'll need to drag your phone up and it will um, have three dots initiated when it's ready to start. And it'll be 
Okay, once you um, take in your photosphere, you go into your gallery, you press the camera button, and we'll press camera in the gallery, the folder that we got. Find your photosphere, and here it is. You can zoom in on it, add effects with it, with this button. View it as a real photosphere with this button. And once you view it as the real thing, it'll show a little slide there. But if you actually tap it, it'll start moving on its own. And I don't want that. But anyways, um, there's a cool feature called Tiny Plane. So tap it, your screen, and a button right here will come up, and it's the tiny plane feature. You can make your photosphere kind of like a planet. And, um, and this is it. It'll show it as a planet. You can zoom in all the way on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I don't want to do that, so I'll X out of it, and here you can add filters, yeah, that's photosphere for you, so, there you go.